Hey, folks. Uh, uh. Okay, so I just got home. And I was watching an article that Washington Times um, put out. And I was, like, pretty shocked that Washington Times said this. So I want to show you guys what I got. But first of all, I need to do something. <laughs> this is my tab. I need to uninstall CN. Sorry, the Communist News Network. Allegedly. Get rid of it. Boom. Because that's what they get for lying to everybody. All right. So... Let me hurry up with this. So Washington Times. Oh, stop it. Let's just move on. Back to my face. Washington. Washington Times. Give me one second, y'all. I wasn't prepared for making this video. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> this dude. I don't want to say much. <clears throat> I'm a small channel, so I can't afford any strikes. So I was reading. <laughs> Um, and I'm not a fan of Washington Times, but I was looking at how um, the just what it says here. I'm just reading what it says. Um, how no one wants to admit, you know, the assignments and things that were going on behind closed doors, and the rule of rule of law, aka Sharia law. There goes a toothbrush. Uh, uh, it says, Mr. Obama used the federal government as a gangster army to attack people he didn't like. Sounds like the Clintons, too. <laughs> In his way for the, for the leftsters for overwhelming power, he used agencies, federal government, to spy on citizens, oppress and intimidate the political opposition, even manipulate our elections. Yada, 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 yada. It was actually Oprah who manipulated everybody because she endorsed him. So I was thinking about like, cause I, I'm really good at connections to um, face and I'm good at seeing potential past lives. And I thought of, this dude, he looks very familiar. <laughs> you guys gonna get, have your mo minds blown watch okay so scrolling down Akhenaten there he is he looks like Obama himself We're straight out the tomb alright so here's the part where I was like oh chili beans so uh, <clears throat> it was the part where Right here. Akhenaten tried to shift his culture from Egypt's traditional religion, but the shifts were not widely accepted. Uh, skip the death part. Uh, excuse me. I just ate something, so I'm trying to... Um, hidden statues, etc. Traditional religious practices was gradually restored. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, when some dozens years later, rulers without clear rights of succession from the 18th dynasty found new dynasty, um, they discredited Agnaton and his I'm sorry, and his immediate successors, referring to Agnaton himself as the enemy, or that criminal in uh, archival records. Clearly, there's a connection. But what's also weird 
is do you guys know okay Akhenaten also is known as Amhotep because you had your um, you had your royal name but then you had your African name Amhotep the fourth do you guys know who Amhotep is it may not be uh No, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is Amenhotep. And Moses. Moses, the Exodus, and Akhenaten. Same person. So I... I tell you guys. Oh, I'm gonna tap the third dies and succeed by his second son, Amhotep the fourth. This is how he got his power. This guy is a visionary who turns away from the state um, pantheon, pantheon, on, I can't say that, of gods, and instead turns Egypt to the worship of a single deity known as the Anten, the disc of the sun. So this is Moses, the truth of Moses. It says Pharaoh Akhenaten strips everything from the polyistic priesthood. Um, so a lot of it has to do with the Ten Commandments, right? And you may not agree with what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I had an epiphany of ancient history. Obviously, Amhotep was not really mentioned in the Bible at all. But his daughter was um, Asinus. But she married uh, Joseph. Anyway, there, there's a whole crazy story. There's so many people with the same name. I uh, said, what happened to Akhenaten? What motivated him to revolutionize centuries of Egyptian culture and religion? Could it be that experiencing the death of the firstborn of all the males in Egypt some decades prior was such a motivation? Um, so do you see the connection between that statement and... Um, federal government as gangster army to attack people he didn't like or stood in the way of the left's thirst for overwhelming power. He used agencies of the federal government to spy on its citizens. They're firstborn. I'm just putting the puzzle pieces together. Um, over the next few months, the truth about Barack Obama and his corrupt administration will be revealed. We will be shocked. But unfortunately, this supports what... Um, oh, I forget her name. I totally forget her name. But uh, she put a, a video out about... Um, she had a vision, and it was about uh, the three days of darkness. And it had some correlation between... Uh, the Epstein situation, uh, the island situation, and the uproar of the people once the sur situation surfaces. I think this also plays a part too. How are the people going to act when they find out they've been betrayed? It's going to be a moment where we lock our doors and stay inside until people are done acting a damn fool and destroying everything outside this is why they said don't go outside in the three days of darkness so just to give you a, a, a quick synopsis I'll put the uh, video in the description box below I have to go look for it but in my own truth th this kind of explains why many people were saying Moses was uh, one of the two witnesses and Elijah not true you're giving power and giving um, glorification to the wrong person. Moses, 
um, if you guys know about the serpent, I'm so glad I have a tablet again. Ugh. So look, number two and one, then the Lord said to Moses, when you see the capital Lord, that's not the Almighty Father or the Heavenly Father. This is what the Lord commandeth Moses to do. Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live, basically. It's the same snake that betrayed Eve. Eve and the serpent. Did Eve have sex with Satan? Satan is not Satan, it is the serpent. The serpent seed. Oh, I don't want to read all this. Go back. This is this just end. Aaron had a downfall. Okay. The fall. I'll just read the first part. Uh, now the serpent was more crafty. <laughs> it tells you right there. Crafty than any wild animal. The Lord God. See how Lord is lowercase? Lord God had made. That's creator. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from the tree of the garden? Um, that was the serpent saying that. The woman said to the serpent, we may eat from the fruit. Oh, you guys already know the story. Then look, for God knows that when you eat from a tree, what happened to the Lord God? Unless someone had some grammar issues, but you see how they're indoctrinating different gods. The Lord God, the sound of the Lord God. But how come when you're here, was it here? I lost my spot. Doggone it. Oh, numbers, yeah, thank you. The Lord, capital L-O-R-D. <laughs> this makes no sense. Right? This is total, like, um, anyways, you guys get where I'm coming from. The cap, small, low, small case, the capital L, capital G. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock, all wild animals, <clears throat> Will you crawl on the belly? This is when he turned him into an actual serpent. You can be an animal since you did something very cruel. Um, one more thing I want you guys to see. Inky the serpent. Boom. The Sumerian god of water, mischief, crafts, and creation. Creation meaning he seeded the earth. The serpent of life and wisdom. Inky. That's not me. <laughs> I'm a whole different type of wisdom. Um, mischief is also a connection to uh, Mercury. That's Greek mythology, but we won't go there. Um, let's see. Okay, so you see, where is Inky's picture? Where he, clearly you can see that he is a serpent. Sorry, you guys. Almost done with this video. Our father, Inky. You see how there's two tablets here? Prometheus, Genesis, reptilian god. There you go. In Inky was a reptilian god. 
which is the interpretation of serpent. It doesn't mean he was actually a, a snake, but to have that influence and control is the metaphor and symbolism of the serpent. Um, see, he talks here, the DNA structure, uh, blah, blah, and blah. Inky's identity, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, reflected these with the names. Atan, Aten, Atom, Adam, Amen. So these words are associated with. <laughs> oh, gosh. Serpent represents spiritual wisdom, life, and healing. Uh, the first symbols of serpents attributed to Inky. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, look. Niberian civilization. I never heard of that before. Uh, which their father, Anu, was the leader. Inky and Enlil, very interesting. Enlil has a connection to Faniel or Uriel, which was the... Kind of like the... Um, the... Uh, what do you call it? Begotten son before begotten son. So before there was a begotten son, um, the Almighty Father put Enlil in charge of commanding the sky, protecting the skies, and being the watcher. This is from what I read. <clears throat> uh, so I only see, like, was the only savior of Anunnaki people. <laughs> See how Cain killed Abel? So there was a firstborn that died. Abel was the first. Because it's backwards. It wasn't Cain born first and Abel. Even though they were twins, the firstborn was um, Abel. Um, protecting of his own people. So you see it here. Used agencies, government, to spy on people, oppress and intimidate the political opposition, manipulate others. Um, I don't mean to shove my thoughts down anyone's throat, but it was just like, this was so clear when I saw this article. I'm like, wow, because um, I already knew of his past. I just never talked about it. But that's clearly, it clearly looks like him too. But this was Moses as the Egyptian form before he was, uh, before he broke his uh, reptilian uh, control. Because, you know, they took uh, a stray uh, baby and then they programmed the baby. Then they, you know, <laughs> said, You're going to be our uh, imposter, savior, our false prophet. And mislead everybody but no you're going to be a great leader and it took his brother Aaron to try to sway the people not to believe his brother that's the real truth but I'll go more into this story on how I view it because I was getting this today in my spirit that it's all wrong the story of Moses and Noah are all they're they're not what they seem to be so uh, have a good day, everybody. I have to get ready for my show. Um, you see my weave over there? <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody. Let me know what you guys think about this video.